Why hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these uh, little rocks I did in my rain edit, and I'm not the first one to do this, I'm pretty sure uh, Baker's done it, I've seen a lot of people in Myth do it, the Myth Gaming Clan, and um, yeah, I've just seen a lot of people do it, I'm not the first person to do it, and this, this isn't my first edit that I did it in. So, let's just get straight into the tutorial, and I want to say um, also, just let me close that up, if you guys want to see a tutorial on the rocks in the whatever edit, just let it load. Okay, these rocks, these ones right here, I can make a tutorial on that. It's pretty simple and it can look, it looks pretty nice in like a, a space glitchy type of edit. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into this tutorial. What I have here is I have element and I have my rocks and I have my FNT text. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to reset my element. Should everything should disappear? Okay, there we go. Now I have. I'm gonna go to my element and everything's reset, so that's good. I'm gonna go to my custom layers and I already have my um, my text ready and my mirrored image of the map. So go to my text. Okay. Now go to scene setup and I'm gonna extrude my text and go to environment and I'm gonna put this to my environment layer. Go to bevels. Double down that. And I'm just going to give it a nice blue, because I don't like red. Okay, that's good. Okay, now what I'm going to do, go to starter pack, and click on the floor fracture. Okay, so now what you want to do is go on to, if you have pro shaders, it'll, this will help a lot. If not, you could just use one of these materials and just edit it a bit. But pro shaders, um, it looks a lot nicer. So I'm just going to drag a metal. I think what would actually look pretty good be like a ground, like a dirt type of thing, but I haven't found a nice looking one. Like this one looked alright, but then it with my CC it didn't look so great. So I'm just gonna drag on a let's drag a random one. Metal rust. Let's do that. Okay, that's good enough. And if you go to wireframe, you can see that this thing is already wireframed, it's already split up and everything, so you don't need cinema authority for Thrashy to do this you have it pre-fractured in element and also the point cloud I don't know what this this is supposed to prove but it's pretty awesome like if you could do that in um, After Effects like not an element like you could render it out little points that'd be pretty cool okay so set your floor fracture to group 2 and then your text to group 1 and let's just click OK let's just let it load up Okay, so it's done loading because my mouse isn't has it doesn't have the black thing on anymore. Now go to my element layer, go to group one, and I have a null object right there, which is conveniently placed where I want my text to be. So what I'm gonna do is go to group one, go to particle replicator, position Z, and I'm gonna put this to twelve thousand. Okay, and then go to particle look. I'm gonna put this to one fifty. Uh, I'm gonna put the neg the rotation to like negative ten. Wait, no, 210, not negative 10. Okay, and then maybe rotate that a bit. And even, I could even put it that way as well, like that. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm just going to go to, I'm still in group one, right? Group utilities, and then go to copy, paste group, copy, and then go to group two, and close that up, and go paste. So now it's going to load up, and there it is. Okay, particle replicator. Let's do this. Bring this up quite a bit. So I'm gonna say negative one point, negative thirteen hundred. Okay, and maybe a bit more. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this on this axis because when you when you split everything out, for some reason if you don't rotate it, so it's like um, its side is facing the front of the camera it looks really weird I don't know what it does and why it does it but I don't like it so I'm just gonna put this to zero put this to zero and then I'll adjust it afterwards okay so bring that down bring that down okay that's good enough now we're gonna go to particle look and enable multi object okay so now we can just scatter everything so now you can see the text the little pieces are breaking, scattered a bit more, maybe negative scatter, I don't know what the difference is, but 
you can see it breaking a little bit. Now rotation, I'm just gonna use the random rotation because it, it applies everything and it's a lot easier. And if you only want to rotate certain axes, you can use the X, Y, and Z if you really want to. Now displacement is what makes the rocks go crazy and like spread out. So as you can see, if I did the X, it came like this to look like a nice trail, which could look actually kind of cool in a motion track. But I'm gonna spread these out now. And now for the Z, it's just gonna make it go crazy. Spread it out a bunch. Okay, so now this is the initial effect. And what you can do is keyframe these displacement values. And I can also keyframe my position X, Y. And I can hit U on my keyboard. And I can go to the end. And I could just, you know, mess with them a tiny bit. So just move in. You could also keyframe the random rotation so they spin a little bit. And I can make this go higher up. So it looks like the rocks are rising. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to ram preview this on quarter so you guys can get a get an idea of what it looks like. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. And also, I want to say thank you guys so much for 1500. I know I'm just going to make a vlog about it. Not a vlog, sorry. I'm just going to make a setup video and I might might actually make a vlog about it. We'll see. And um, so what's happening right now is we're doing renovations in my room and like redo we're redoing my closet and it's not just my room it's the whole family but anyways and my room literally looks like I moved in and haven't like done anything so like, everything from my closet is just on the floor in my room and I can't really see the floor so the only thing I really have is my desk my like my little gaming area and all that and then my bed so I'm going to be making that video eventually once this is all done so um, the problem with it, with it being a 1500 um, setup video is I'm about to hit 1600 so it's not really um, helping but whatever I'll take it so I'm just gonna make it eventually and there we go we can see the shine from the text because that's that's quite obvious and we can see the rocks and look really nice and uh, yeah that's pretty sweet and another effect I have thought of I don't I haven't really tested it but I thought it would look cool Go back to your element, duplicate it, okay? Now go in your first element, go to scene setup, and you want to get rid of your f floor fracture, okay? Okay, just let it load. Okay, now go in your second element and get rid of your text. So now you just have the floor fracture. Okay, I just wait a second for it to load. Okay, now on the top element, hit T and bring the opacity down to like 50 I don't know if this looks good you guys be the judge but I think that could look pretty cool it's like see-through rocks and even you could even like grab an adjustment layer this would be I think this would look cool and I'm gonna call this effect just cuz I'm lazy I don't think of anything other uh, cooler and just type in looks magic bolt looks and just drag it onto your effect layer and go to effect and go to edit it just give me a second how long is it still? okay we're good okay magic bolt looks not responding of course it isn't okay I'm just gonna drag it preset see what it looks like okay sure that one okay just let it load now what I'm gonna do is drag this underneath the top element and then go to alpha mat Okay, that looks kind of stupid, but I think you know, I thought it would look cool. But anyways, um, I want to see what happens if I do both at the same time. And I'll put the opacity up. I don't know, but you can do some pretty cool things with this effect, guys. So um, yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will have the part two, like the these rocks, another time. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and I want to say. I almost have a hundred likes on my rain edit, which is really, really sweet. I came third in the contest as well, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, if I get a hundred likes, that'd be really awesome. Like, I haven't got a hundred likes in a video for a long time. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.